Oh, shit. This is my favorite oak tree. I call it Perry's favorite oak. On some of my pictures. Oh, let's take the pack off. This is a heavy backpack, by the way. Is it like 25 pounds? Oh. Wow. That's why it takes us some time to get up here. So we came up this spine over here. And where that oak tree is, you can see where a bulldozer kind of cut away over there. You just aim down there. Just keep going. And you'll get down to over there. Now that's one bulldozer cut. Now I want to point out uh, that uh, <clears throat> there's another one over here. And when you're at the very top, as I like to do in the winter time, uh, I actually want to be in the sun. So I'll come down here, you'll find a whole bunch of avocado pits, I'm sure. I would I go down there and pick a nice place and sit in the sun. And you can go all the way down past that, you can go down to that rocks and even beyond there on a little bulldozer cut. But I'm not gonna go down there. I also want to point out something else. That not down this ravine, but the next one, I think. There's a trough down there. There's a spring. I'll point out where the trees are. It's those trees over there. But you can't see the, the trough from up here. There's no good vantage point unless you go straight off the side of the hill. But in those groups of trees down there, but going up uh, that steeper ravine over there, you have to go walk down around there and then go down. And down there is a spring, and it's even flowing right now, uh, down the pipe that is. But it's coming out like... Uh, Maybe, I don't know, quarter gallon a minute. So it's not coming out that much. But there's water in a, in a trough. It's completely full. I've actually come up here and camped overnight right at my favorite oak. Went down there if I get water. Let me tell you, a trip for water down there is pretty uh, strenuous activity. Alright, I'm gonna hook up my hammock. We'll have ourselves a little hammock lunch.